Hello, I'm Marcel Carpentieri, master docent at the Rosen House. Cabinet rooms such as these were very popular in Italy in the 18th and 19th century. The panels of this room, dated about 1750, were painted by Italian artists in the chinoiserie style, a term for the imitation of Chinese motifs in Western art. The room now serves as backstage for artists who are ready to perform in the music room. This stage has welcomed a variety of artists, including Walter Rosen's dear friend, the cellist Pablo Casals, the soprano Angela Mead, and Jorma Kokonen of Hot Tuna. Walter Rosen was a classically trained pianist, and Lucy, a pioneer of the theremin. Together they performed in the music room. Many of their concerts were in support of the American troops during World War II. The rose marble columns were purchased from the estate of William Randolph Hearst. The frieze above the stage was painted by an Italian artist, Girolamo Andrioli, a 17th century protege of Veronese. The first impression is of great space and height. Two Italian carved walnut ceilings are joined to cover the room at an approximate height of 30 feet. They come from a 16th century palace in Lecce in southern Italy. They are supported by nothing in the room but hang from the roof above them. The four hanging chandeliers of carved and gilded wood are said to be 13 feet long. On a pedestal at the right of the stage, a fine bronze portrait head of Walter Rosen by the distinguished American sculptress Malvina Hoffman surveys the room he built and used with such pleasure. The art and objects on the rear wall of the music room were placed by Walter Rosen himself. The large tapestry, the Holy Family, is the only one of three remaining from an original set of 12, woven in the 14th century for the de Cluny family of Burgundy in France. Across the room is a portrait of Lucy Rosen at the age of 36. It was painted in 1926 by English artist 
Sir Oswald Beerley. Another painting on the wall is a cassone representing the triumph of Caesar. It is obviously a panel of a great gilded chest and the front was decorated so handsomely that it has been taken off and hung on the wall like a picture. But it is called the triumph of Caesar in a thoroughly Renaissance costuming and arming and the people and the soldiers and the nobles are all of the 16th century rather than the Roman times that they are said to represent. The people all seem to be very happy and are throwing branches of leaves and flowers at the conqueror in his gilded chariot.